Since the creation of the Catholic Diocese of Obuasi, barely 26 years ago, the diocese has been able to live up to the evangelization mission of the Catholic Church. Indeed, in keeping with the social teachings of the Catholic Church, the Obuasi Diocese has been able to make positive impact in both pastoral and socioeconomic lives of the people in the diocese. In his maiden address as the third bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Obuasi, Bishop Afuakwa expressed great concern about the faith formation of the faithful. One of my key strengths and my desire is being able to give growth to the faith of the faithful. So faith growth is a key focus. And faith growth goes with faith formation. At his inaugural address, he had uh, the vision, or he mentioned that uh, he would make sure that formation becomes paramount. And I think uh, during uh, um, his uh, leadership to date, he's been able to enforce it by even bringing out uh, a book, a uh, catechism book, uh, which has been embraced uh, by the God's people of this diocese. Since a considerable number of the faithful are not literate, the diocese organizes a weekly radio program on catechesis in the local language of the members of the community. This weekly radio program really makes up for the members of the community who are not literate. There is also regular instructions on catechism to boost the faith formation of the faithful. Like all human endeavors, the diocese needs the support of all well-meaning Catholic faithful across the globe in championing the cause of humanity in this part of the world. I have identified a number of uh, challenges. Many of the outstation churches do not have their own church buildings. Um, what I would say, structures that we can't call even a church. They, they have started putting up their own churches, but they are all most of them are uncompleted. Also, resources for the training and formation of seminarians are great cause for concern. Reverend Father Francis Darko is the vocations director for the Obuasi Diocese. Their real formation, tuition, Medicare, and other things, sometimes books, relevant books for their formation, it all falls on the diocese to take care of it. So you can imagine the financial responsibility on the bishop and the, the stress sometimes on the diocese. In many of the rural communities in the Obuasi diocese, the residents do not have access to portable water. They have no other options than to resort to rivers and water bodies, most of which are unwholesome for human consumption or domestic use whatsoever. Oh, baby, I ain't sure no man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Low man, so I'll insist on Baba Boyania. I will buy a pipe for night, Chimney Nibia. The development office of the Obuasi Diocese has set up water projects for some communities. The residents of the community are most thankful to the bishop and the diocese for setting up water project for the community. Dear people of God, the faithful in the Catholic Diocese of Obuasi in Ghana, West Africa, are by this documentary asking for your kind financial support in respect of faith formation, formation of seminarians, 
roofing of rural churches, provision of portable water for rural communities, and other relevant needs of the diocese. May God bless you as you take this message in good faith. Thank you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.